Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided that I would talk to you about Influencer. So you've probably heard of this already because it's such a big thing for beauty bloggers and just bloggers. It's actually really fantastic. So I just wanted to talk to you about it today because I know that I first of all wondered what it was and um, you might have lots of questions about it so I'm just going to try and go through the whole thing with you. This is a Vox box and um, I got sent it because I am a part of the influencer site. Basically what it does is it counts up all of the followers that you have from each of the individual social media sites. You connect to your Twitter account, your Instagram, YouTube and there's loads more and it adds up the number of followers that you have and then it gives you sort of a, I can't remember what they call it, they call it an impact score so um, it just gets that information from, as I said, the amount of followers that you have from each of those connection. So the impact score basically just means um, how likely you are to get a Vox box. The higher the impact score, the more likely you are to get one. It might sound a bit mean to those channels that are a bit smaller, um, but I mean I'm, I'm definitely one of the smaller channels um, and I still get boxes so um, I would advise you to go for it and to sign up because when you get them it's just so exciting, it really is really exciting. So I will run through this Vox box with you that I got um, and just basically explain it to you. First of all, when you've got the app for Influencer and you just fill in all of your details and stuff, they will from time to time send you emails saying you're in with a chance of get getting this Vox box, are you interested? And then you register your interest and a lot of the time it can end there because they assess everybody and shortlist who they want. But then if they do shortlist you, they send you another email and say um, you're in or something like that. You get sent your Vox box and that's what this is basically. So I was told that I was in to get the Rimmel Vox box. I didn't know what was going to be in it when, when it arrived. Um, so it was all a big surprise to me, but I'm afraid that I have already opened it because I didn't know I was going to do this video, but um, but it doesn't matter. So when you open it, you get, there's a little card inside which tells you a little bit about some of the products inside and just basically says how to get started. Then you will find all these goodies inside. Whenever you get a Vox box, it's just like Christmas. I'll show you some of the products that they gave. One of them was these Ink Me um, metallic sticker tattoos. I don't know about you, but I never really did temporary tattoos when I was a child. Um, so this is my chance. This is my chance to regain my childhood. Quite a few of these things are really arty, which I really like because on my Instagram and general social media stuff, I like to do sometimes like arty makeup looks and I think I'll be able to use a lot of this stuff for that. The first things I want to show you are these lip art um, lip top coat products. So they've given me three in different shades. One of them is called gold, the next one's pearlescent and blush gold. I have tried these. I've tried a couple of them. I think it was this one that I tried and I just wanted to do it over like, I had a black lip on and then I just did this on the bottom lip just to make it really stand out and look a bit more arty. I do think they're great just to make your lips really stand out. They have actually shown a couple of examples on the card of things that you can do. So I am really excited to try a bit more with these and see what I can do. Do you want me to put a bit on now? I'm not sure which one to use for you but maybe maybe I'll go with blush gold. I don't know if this is the best lip colour to like use for these that I've got on at the moment but I'll just show you what it's like. Now I'm just going to put a tiny bit on and it just gives it a bit more of a shimmer and I don't know if you can see that very well on here but like I said this wasn't the best colour to showcase these 
but they're really nice and I do definitely recommend them. Another thing that they gave me in my Vox box was this glitter nail polish. It's called Ruby Crush. This is such a nice Christmassy colour. I, I did actually wear this on Christmas Eve and felt very sparkly and nice. But then I got a new nail polish on Christmas Day so I took it off and put that on. But that is beside the point. I really like this. Like, it's just amazing because you get all these full-size products for free. It's literally for free. All that you have to do is just post photos, um, just to really, like, promote the products. And, and then you just do a survey at the end, which is mandatory. But to be honest, that is not much that you have to do for getting all these lovely things. So I'm a big fan of Influencer. They also sent two Ink Me eye and body liners so they sent a gold one and a black one these really excited me because especially the gold one because you can do really cool makeup looks with glitter or gold metallic eyeliners um, especially with like cut crease things you can just do like a whole host of stuff and I always need black liners so again very happy with this the um, actual applicator is a bit unusual. I haven't really used anything like this before. So it's a felt, sort of a felt liner and it's got this weird like claw thing. I'm not explaining it very well. Can you see that? It's um, it's just a bit different really. So I did use this a couple of times um, when I first got it and it did, it was really nice to use. Um, I haven't used the gold one yet but um, yeah, I was able to create a nice wing with it. Um, I'm not too sure about the applicator, but yeah, overall, I was happy to get these. I actually want to do a swatch of the gold one to see what it's like, because I can't believe I haven't tried this yet already. Oh, look at that. That is nice. This one's actually a bit softer than the other applicator, um, so I don't know why that is. If I just show you the black one as well, applicator is very different. Well no it's not actually, it feels the same when I do it on the back of my hand. Yeah. Lastly I got this wonderfully real mascara. And so it says mascara with nylon fibres in extreme black. I have used this mascara um, the other day and I posted a photo on Instagram. I honestly wasn't too sure about this. It did make my lashes look a little bit clumpy. This is the applicator. So it's not the sort of applicator that I'd normally use. Um, so maybe I just need a bit more practice with it just to get used to it. To get a mascara, a full size mascara for free, again, just blows my mind. So that is the lot. Those are the products that I received free um, in exchange, as I said before, for a review and just general sharing of products. There's these things called badges that you can get for doing general tasks um, and you can collect your badges when you get Vox boxes so there's the Rimmel holiday badge. What they asked me to do was show off um, my lashes on Insta. What they meant was to post a picture after I'd used that mascara um, just to show what it was like and another one was post your festive party lip look which I've also done um, and as I said I did it with the black lip and then the gold just on the lower lip and because I completed those two activities I got the 100 out of 100 points and that means I got my Rimmel holiday badge. The more badges that you get um, the better because they can see that you are consistent in in completing these activities and that you are trustworthy I guess. So that will all go in your favour. You can also increase your chances by um, filling in their little snaps. Basically they're just reviews of products that you've tried already. Um, they just take, it doesn't take that long to do some of them so it's definitely something I'd recommend to you know boost your chances of getting a Vox box. It can all sound like a lot of information and I get that but I'm just trying to sort of explain a lot to you so that you'll be as informed as you can be about what influence there is and how to get Vox boxes. And don't be discouraged if um, 
if you're not getting many Vox boxes, because I I don't get many to be honest. Um, it is a thing that you have to build up and grow, but you will get them if you keep trying and just keep growing. That's all I can say really. It is a fantastic thing to do. Um, I definitely, as I said before, I definitely recommend it to any beauty bloggers out there. It's also really good because it can help you to try new brands that you might not have tried before. I've obviously, I've tried Ramel before, um, so that wasn't new to me, but there are lots of brands that they send out to you um, that you can try that you might not have done before. So I hope that you've enjoyed that. It was um, something that I just thought might be useful for you um, if you're new to Influencer or if you just haven't if you haven't used it before. Have any of you guys tried Influencer? If so, did you like it? Did you find it good or have you been a bit discouraged by it? Um, any comments please leave them down below and I'd love to talk to you guys about that. Also if you have any other questions that I haven't covered in the video again just comment down below and I'll try and get back to you. Thank you so much for coming to watch and I just want to say as well thank you for helping me reach my um, my mini target, I didn't actually tell you guys about this, but I had a mini target to get my first 50 subscribers before Christmas. I know it doesn't sound like many, but to me it's everything and um, it's just meant a lot to me because you guys helped me to reach that. So thank you so much for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye then.